Why are relationships so hard? Why does it always seem like the bad times outweigh the good times? Let's get into it. Run the thing. What are you saying guys? I'm Ralph Riley and I'm here today with another video for you to talk about relationships. Why are they so hard? Why can't we just get along? Who knows? She wants to be listened to. He wants to be listened to. You can't get along. But have you ever asked yourself why? In today's society, there's too much pressure to have the perfect relationship. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Everyone has the perfect relationship on there. Walking down on a beach. But these people behind closed doors, they could be someone completely different. Don't watch them. Focus on your own relationship. You need to remember why you chose each other. You're with each other for a reason, ain't ya? You fancied him, he fancied you, you went on your date, you got a little hanky-panky. But you're together. Live in the now. Don't worry about what people think about you or what people can say. You know what makes me laugh? People who don't have relationships are always the first ones to comment on yours. Oh, he's not good for you. He's cheating on you. Oh, she doesn't know how to treat a man. Oh, she's been with so many different men. Trust me, some of the closest people to you will have evil eye for you. And your relationship. Enjoy your relationship. Don't let no one else tell you how to love and enjoy your other half. Believe me, maybe that's not the case. Maybe you two have just fallen apart. Sometimes a relationship can be ruined by just not listening to each other. Men, listen to your women. Women, listen to your men. Some of these relationships can be fixed within a second, but you're too stubborn. You've got too much pride. You don't want to show that person how much you love them. Just because Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all these places say that you shouldn't. Society says you should be selfish. You should think about yourself. No, you want your relationship to work? Think about your other half. Think about how things will make them feel. You can't live the same way you were when you were single and be in a relationship. Things need to change. This goes for both women and men. Women are always fast to say, oh, men are cheating. Oh, he's this, he's horrible. But some of you are bad as well. You gotta start treating your men like kings so that he will treat you like a queen. Women, every time your man's out, he ain't cheating on you. He might just be in the gym, training, put his phone in a locker, comes out. You've been cheating. Who are you with? I'm coming to kill her right now. He's thinking, what the hell have I done? Give him a little bit of space. He's trusting you, you trust him. Men, your woman doesn't want every guy out there. Maybe she does really love you, but you're not giving her the chance to show you how much she appreciates you. It's time to put your pride aside and start showing your loved ones how much you love them. And like I always say, do not wait until the new year. Start today. When you finish work today, go home. No, not go home. When you finish work today, walk past the shop, buy up some flowers. They love that. They love it. They love it more than you buy them an expensive gift. That's one thing I've never understood. I could come home with a Versace t-shirt for my missus and she'll tell me, where's my flowers? Like, wow. Or a card. Well, I've just spent like 70 to 150 quid on a Versace t-shirt. She don't care. She wants them flowers. Even though they're gonna die in two seconds, she wants flowers. Get her flowers. Get her flowers. Maybe you should stop making excuses. Make more effort, be there for each other. Yes, not all his or her friends are gonna like you. And they won't like you, not all of them. You've just taken their friend away from them. You've taken away their, their party buddy, the person they go out with, the person they go on holiday with. Now you're the person that's taken that place. Some of them, not consciously, but maybe subconsciously, they will try and destroy your relationship. But the thing is, you need to set the boundaries straight from day one. Your friends need to understand that even though you're in a relationship, they're still your friends. They're not going nowhere, you know? They say friends are for life. Be my friend, support my relationship. But don't put the blame on your friends. It takes two to tango. You need to work on it with each other. If you have a perfect relationship, then fine. You don't need to be watching this video. Watch something else. But if you're at that stage where things start to feel a bit rocky, it's 
start going on dates. Maybe you're not going on dates anymore. Maybe you're not talking to each other. I've seen too many couples break up over silly things and it's always down to pride. Look, this was just a short video on relationships and why I think it'd be a good idea to start trying to make a relationship work today. Kiss and make up if you're not getting on. I would love to know your thoughts on relationships. Are you in a rocky relationship? Are you in a great relationship? Put it in the section down below. Let's talk about it. Maybe I'll pick one of your comments in the next video and we'll talk about it. If you like today's video, please put a thumbs up to support the channel. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you never miss a video that I put out. I'm Ralph Riley. I want you to stay positive. Have a blessed week. Go get it. Yeah.